2020 hasn't been one of the greatest years, to say the least. But for the sardine run, it was an absolute cracker. And a real blessing that fishing got open before the sardines arrived. This is what the excitement is about, guys. We just met up with a nice pocket of sarge they're getting smashed in this bay. All the other guys are towards the nets down the mouth. So we're gonna anchor here quickly and have a throw. The adrenaline is pumping so much, my hands are actually shaking, I can't even actually put my line through my loops. But yeah, that's what we waited for. We're gonna get a bait in and get a fish. Let me dig up, I'll see you guys soon with a fish. Many fishing tales got embedded the sardine run with so many stories of lost fish. Unfortunate but unavoidable during the sardine run. The best we can do as anglers to make sure that we use the relevant tackle, the best possible tackle and get the best possible advice before we go target these biggest sharks in the sardine run. As for the game fish, only a few showed their faces. Only after the sardine run, several more game fish came out with some really nice catches of Margate Pier Lee Rock, Potholes and Orange Rock to name a few spots. As you can see guys I caught a sh shad here. Might throw a spoon for Garrick and Sam or whatever is in the shoulder of Sads here. So yeah I think these guys are going to slide us out. How's it guys? This is what it's all about. Starting around 2020. We're down here at Uncle Baba and we've got Young Low here He's on with a decent fish As you can see he's taking a lot of line but he's still pulling this thing He's fighting this thing hard His first pull for the day and I'm sure it's not going to be his last What do you say? We give you about maybe 10 more minutes to land this fish? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now he's got a decent fish on guys So uh, maybe as soon as he brings him forward If I'm still around here I'll be able to go and help him and pull a fish out for him uh, From the backwash but yeah He's doing a good job so far Anything you want to say to the guys? No, nothing at the moment. Uh, that, that's tears of pain there. Deep, but, deep burn. Deep yeah, burn. but it's enjoyable pain. So guys, yes, this is what it's all about. I'm going to rush quickly, get my rod, throw another bait. I hope that I can be buckling just like him. This particular day at Ungababa, there was no shortage of action, but the formation was rather difficult to land the fish, with quite a shallow bank at the back, and most of the bites coming from there. That was a... Uh, Good fish there, unfortunately we lost it on a bank, it cut us off there. Yeah, that's fishing for you, especially during the sardine run. There's always a lot of fish that are swimming past, all the banks get you. But we put another bait, get another pull. The drone anglers got stuck into quite a few good fish. And only a handful of casting anglers managed to get a good bite. And it's only with the sardine run where we see so many anglers being tested to the limit as well as their tackle and if all lines up and everything's in your favor you are rewarded with some really great catches how's it guys okay, we're still here at uncle baba there's a net down there the guys are pulling now we are up no further the reason why is because we're droning and we're not actually casting bait so we're trying to keep away from the guys actually casting bait uh, the wind southwestly actually picked up quite a bit now, so the conditions are not too great. The swell is still a bit high, and there's a big wash in the back. So what we actually did now, we, we scaled down to lighter tackle, lighter line, and we're gonna draw the bait out. I got a bunch of sards there, actually seven sards bunch, uh, but the sards are not that big anyway. And uh, we're gonna draw that bait out maybe about 200 meters and see if we can get a pull over there. We had to scale down to get a bite. Like I said, uh, the wash is quite bad, so hopefully we can get a pull now. As you guys can see, the wind is popping. Big parts of the sardine shoal broke off and was in the gutter in front at Umgababa. But the shoals in the back were massive, so only a few fish came over that bank. Most catches and most sharks still being way in the back and only the drone anglers being able to reach them. Alright guys, finally we got another pool. The ocean here. My cousin is one of our guest anglers and uh, he's buckling, finally. We couldn't wait for this and uh, yeah, we dropped a couple baits again and he went on. We lost two fish already and this is his third one. 
Hopefully we get this boy out. Anxious to see what it was that that reel screamed off. It, it really screamed off. So yeah, let's see as the fish comes forward what it is. And uh, but he's doing well. He's doing extremely well so far. He'll land this fish. Long run to the rod. By the time I got there, I was way, way, way into my backing. I managed to stop him a bit. Something swam through my line. That's what's left of it. There's a few meters of line and the rest of the braid. Unfortunate. That's my third run as well. Third fish lost. But that's what happens in the sardine run. We're going to keep trying. Change the reel, put another one on. Hopefully you can go tight. The ocean as well, he also lost his. Fish swam through his line. There's a lot of fish here, so that's a problem. But uh, change up. Go a bit heavier now. Let's see what we can do. The only reason why we went lighter is because of the wash. So we went lighter on our leader lines, lighter on our, our main lines. But yeah, unfortunate. Let's just try the big reels again. And hopefully we can land this fish, man. Sardine run 2020. Drop some lucky sardines out there. Onto the bus, our 20 minutes. Fish is right here in the front. Let's hope we land this one after losing the first one. A lot of brick in the water here. Yeah, let's see. It's right here in the front wave. Got my main man there with the tail rope. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm tired. There's it. Fast boy. Whew. Kamaran persistency paid off and eventually was rewarded with a really good blackfin shark. Nice fight here, nice blackfin. Not much of a fight with a tackle but it's good. Uncle coaching me all the way, but to leave it like because I'm losing it. But yeah, excellent fish. Let's get a big measurement and put it back. The sardine run makes great memories. An experience we're very fortunate to have in South Africa. Being able to see and experience things that you will not under normal circumstances see or experience. That's the way to do it. My uncle said he wants to release the fish in the deep. I said, okay, no problem. Go for it. And that's the way he's doing it. He's a very experienced shark angler. And he knows the right way. So all due to respect to him. And I'll listen to him of how he's doing it. He's got more experience than me any day. So that's a safe way guys, fish is now released. Alright guys, that's the end of today. We had a very tiring day. Earlier down in the centre here at Amkubaba, we had six runs, six losses. We decided last minute, myself, my uncle, Jace and Dean Reddy, put out some bait and see what happens. And uh, I dropped the bait, I went on, Jace also went on. I managed to land my one, it was a nice black one of 1.8 meters. So yeah, it was an exciting day, tiring day but exciting. We really chopped with that fish. So yeah, something new for me, lever drag system. I don't use it much, I'm more of a starter drag and a grinder guy. But yeah, it's something new, different tackle we're using nowadays. But yeah, it was an enjoyable day uh, here at Amkababa. Uh, we can head back home now, it's a long drive for me. And uh, maybe tomorrow come back on the beach. Or if not, weekend again. I hope you guys liked the video today. Thanks a lot for everything. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and tight line guys. Cheers. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a new video.